What's going on, Fit Fam? Your girl's coming at you with another session of glutes and legs from home. I'm always trying to work on building that peach, and fortunately, you can do some very effective body weight only exercises to really sculpt and pump up your lower body. So let's get into it. We're gonna be doing six different exercises, and it's gonna be three circuits total for all exercises. And to get started, we're just gonna do a really quick warm up to do some glute activation so we make Make sure that everything is ready to rock for our working sets. All right, let's get it. All right, so for the glute activation, we're gonna take our booty band, our fabric resistance band, and let's bust out a couple glute activation exercises. First, I'm just gonna come down into a squatted position, and I'm just gonna walk to the side, five steps each way. And we're gonna do 30 total steps, let's go. That exercise is so effective for getting the areas that you wanna get warmed up really nice and fired up. It looks easy, but it's actually kind of difficult. Okay, now to just finish this off, we're gonna come down into a squatted position, and then we're just gonna do some pulse abduction. So just pushing our knees out to the side like that. We're just gonna bust out 20 reps of that. Here we go. Ooh, all right, feeling fired up. We're ready for this workout. The first exercise, we're gonna keep the band on because we're gonna be doing banded jump squats, which ooh, you already know how hard regular jump squats are. So with the band, it's gonna be just that more challenging, but also that much more effective. So let's go. We're gonna do 20 reps of banded jump squats. All right, my legs and glutes are already burning. We still got a lot of exercises to do. All right, just got my yoga mat for a little extra cushion. The next exercise is gonna be a really effective one, especially for hitting that hard to reach area. That's gonna be curtsy lunge pulses. So a curtsy lunge is where you put your behind leg at a 45 degree angle and you lunge down just like a regular lunge, except keeping that angle. So. We're doing pulses, so that means we're gonna just keep busting out the reps in this position. So let's go. We're gonna do 15 reps on each leg. Bring your knee as close to the ground as you can and push up through the heel of your front foot. All right, next we're gonna be doing some more squats. Sorry, not sorry, they are super effective. So this one is one of my favorites for body weight training. It's called a no lockout squat. So you're gonna get into a regular squat position. I always like to do my feet just outside shoulder width with my toes pointed out. And you're gonna hinge back at your hips before you do anything else. So hinge back at the hips, and then you're gonna bend your knees, come down, and we're gonna sink down as low as you can. And now, this is a no lockout squat, so you're gonna come up almost all the way, but not fully all the way, to where your knees will become straight again. So squatting down, coming up almost all the way, and then pulsing it out here. So let's go, we're gonna do 20 reps of no lockout squats. Drive through those heels, squeeze and contract your hamstrings and glutes on the way up. That one definitely should be firing up your legs big time. All right, so next glute exercise is gonna be the best for bodyweight glute training, and that is single leg hip thrusts. So, upper back, up on your couch, legs at 90 degrees, eyes looking at the wall, and then you're gonna lift one leg at 90 degrees, and you're gonna hinge from your hips and push through your front heel that's on the ground to lift yourself up and squeeze and contract those glutes. So driving from the heel and thrusting from your hips. Let's go, 20 reps on each leg. Oh man, glutes and legs are Feeling it, but it feels so good. It's hard, but it feels awesome. All right, let's repeat. Opposite leg. Whew. All 
right, on to the next one. All right, next exercise is gonna be another amazing one for your glutes, especially when you're training body weight, and that's gonna be single leg glute bridges. So you're gonna lay down, back flat on the ground, and elevate your feet up on your couch or chair. Then, with your legs at 90 degrees, you're gonna elevate yourself, driving from your hips, and you're gonna be actually planting your heels into the couch, okay? So not flat feet, but heels actually up. Then you're gonna lift one leg straight in the air. I like to point my toes so that it's more straight. And then you're gonna hinge from your hips all the way down, drive through that heel that's sticking up and squeeze and contract those glutes at the top. So hinging from the hips, push through the heels, squeeze and contract. Let's do 20 reps on each leg. Oh my God, my glutes are dying. That glute ham tie-in is literally done. It's crazy <laughs> that this can be so effective when it's just a body weight exercise, but that's good news for those of us training in quarantine like myself. All right, let's repeat on the other leg. All right, for the very last exercise, we're gonna come up against the wall here. We're gonna put our upper back and we're gonna do a tiptoe wall sit. So back flat against the wall, 90 degree angle with your legs and you're gonna raise yourself up on your tippy toes and you're gonna hold this position for 45 seconds. Here we go. And of course, if you can't hold it for 45 seconds, just hold it as long as you can. All right, you guys, that is it. This is a fire leg and glute workout that you can do right here in your house without any equipment and effectively sculpt that beautiful lower body and get that peach pop in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of these awesome fit tip videos coming from Nomadic Fitness. If there's anything that you wanna see from me, comment down below and I'll make sure to make a video of that just for you. And if you have any questions, drop it below. I love and appreciate you so much. Thank you for your support. And as always, keep crushing.